Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert a word table into a PowerPoint presentation. And then I'm going to show you how to format and edit that table within PowerPoint. So I've opened up my Word document and just placed a simple table into a basic default document. Now, if I had created this table in a document and I then wanted to insert it into a PowerPoint presentation, then I very simply need to either click on the lower right hand cell and drag all the way to the top left hand cell to highlight it or to simply go up and click on this square with this cross in the centre. And that again will highlight your table. Then I just need to copy this table. And the way I do that is to go up to the Home tab and then go to this icon here, which is Copy. Alternatively, I can press Command or Control C on my keyboard. I then go to PowerPoint and open a default document. Now, for this particular table, I want a slightly different layout to my slide. So again, I'm on the Home tab. I go along to this icon here that says Layout. Click on the drop down, and then I'm going to go along to this slide layout here called Title and Content. And I'll just click off that. And then in order to insert my table, I'm just going to click up here in the top left corner. I'm then going to either click Paste or press Command or Control V on my keyboard. Depending on which version of PowerPoint you're working on, sometimes the table will default to a slightly different layout or colour. Occasionally, you'll have this drop-down menu on the right, which will show you your original table as it was in Word. So you can click on that and change it back to the table you had in Word. Alternatively, you can also edit your table by firstly increasing or decreasing the size by clicking on the arrows in the corners of your table. And I can reduce or increase the size of my table. I can make my table wider. And I can also change elements of my table. So let's say for example I wanted to change the colour of this row here. I simply highlight the row. I go to Table Design. I go up to the Table Design tab and then I go along to this icon here that says Shading. If I click on the drop down arrow I'm given a number of different colour options. If the colour of your choice isn't there then you can go to More Fill Colours. Here you'll be presented with the colour wheel and all you need to do is to click on this little circle with the cross inside and simply drag it around the colour wheel until you find the colour of your choice. Alternatively, you can use the dropper icon and then you can use that if you see another colour that you like or you can import a document online or from a different document and then you just hover this circle over that colour and click OK and then that colour will appear in this square here and then you just click OK and there I've changed the colour of my row. I can also add a row. If I go to the lower right cell, place my cursor after the last character in that cell and press the tab key, a new row will appear. Now as you can see this lower row here isn't the same size as these here. Now that could be for a number of reasons but this reason, I believe, is the size of the font. So if we go to the Home tab, we can currently see that the font size is 50 for this particular row. If I go up to the row above and click, you can see that my font size is 33. So the reason that this row is larger is because of the font size. So if I click and drag that row, I go to the font size, and I can just insert 33 and press enter. So as you can see my row has reduced in size 
and is the same as the rows above. Again, if I click on this lower right cell here, and then I press the tab key, now my rows will appear the same size as the rest of my rows. If you'd like to delete a row, then simply highlight the row, right click, go down to delete, delete rows. And then you can see I've deleted that row. Well, I hope that helps. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.